We are going to get the joke all competition started. Are you guys excited? Uh, first off, I want to introduce the contestants in the first round. Uh, the first man is a member of Farside Comedy Hour. You just saw a show. They did an excellent job. Please put your hands together for Thomas Braugh. His opponent in the first round is the director of Farside Comedy Hour. You just saw him also. Please put your hands together for Cameron Mahai. Cameron! So, the way the first round is going to... Hey, hey, guys. Guys, you won't understand what's going on. The way, Cameron knows his name. The way the, the way the first round is going to go, uh, they're going to tell a series of news jokes, the best of three. And this is where the audience gets to participate. Cameron is going to tell a joke. Tom is going to tell a joke. Who, if you thought Cameron's was funnier, I will go up to Cameron afterwards and do this, and you will applaud. If you thought Tom's was funniest, I will go like this, and you will applaud. Whoever gets two first wins the first round and moves on. So, uh, pick a number between one and ten. Six. Seven. He wants it. Do you want him to go first or do you want to go first? Uh, Tom to go first. Tom to go first. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Here's the joke off. Hey everybody. I was reading the news the other day and I saw a story about a 16 year old in Oklahoma who decided that for her birthday she wanted to go skydiving. And she did, but I guess on the way down her chute didn't open and she plummeted 3,500 feet but survived. Which confirmed for me that a near death experience is probably the most fun you will ever have while living in Oklahoma. <laughs> Uh, a school in Alabama recently suspended an 11-year-old uh, because he had a leaf that looked like marijuana but wasn't marijuana. Uh, the, student, the parents of the student were pissed with the school board, but the student was more upset with Jerome, the older 7th grader who sold him fake shit. <laughs> Alright, All right. so if you like Tom's show, give me a round of applause. If you like Cameron's show, give me a round of applause. Cameron gets the first one, uh, so Tom, here you go. There is a pastor at a mega church in Atlanta that wants close to $70 million so that he can buy himself a private jet to spread the word of God. Now I understand the Lord works in mysterious ways, but that's just condescending. <laughs> $70 million, why can't you spread the word of God in coach seats in a Delta flight on your way to Kenya? <laughs> you know, the way that every youth group and terrorist does it. Um, Ikea has recently banned thousands of their customers from playing hide-and-seek in their stores. Um, the participants claimed, though, that it was purely out of jealousy, because unlike Ikea's instructions, I hide-and-seek is actually pretty easy to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, if you like Tom's joke, round of applause. Cameron's joke, round of applause. All right, Tom won that one. Here's the here's the tiebreaker round. Tom, are you? <laughs> Earlier this year in England, uh, England decided they're going to ban a list of sexual acts from being able to be performed in pornography, and most notably on the list was female ejaculation. They literally said women cannot ejaculate on film, possibly making British porn drier than British comedy. <laughs> Um, a meth lab was recently found in a Walmart bathroom, and um, police have been investigating it, and they've narrowed down the list of suspects to literally anybody who shops at Walmart. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Tom. Cameron. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, Cameron or High Moose. Good job, guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> and they love each other. That's awesome. So we are going to write Cameron's name in the next round. I almost wrote Tom. Cameron. Uh, is Justin Steckman here? No? Okay, so we're just gonna move on. Uh, the, the next uh, competition is gonna go uh, with two people that have been recently performing here at Stand Up of the World. They started doing comedy here, and I'm really excited to see what they'll do in the future for Stand Up of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Forbes and Audrey Lewis. Come to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Forbes, there he is. Forbes and Audrey. To the stage. Yep, right here. You can stand there. And you can stand there. I'm going to shake both of your hands because that's what the host does. It's customary. And you can shake each other's hands. And like the last round, it's going to be news jokes. And pick a number between 1 and 10. <laughs> you won. So do you want to go first? You want to go All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. In sports-related news, we have a controversy with ESPN because the lack of female management. Not only are we not taken seriously on the court, but if we own it as well. <laughs> Last Wednesday, there was a horrific, tragic event in Mesa. A mass shooting left six shot and one dead. One of the victims, moments after being shot, took a selfie and posted it to Snapchat with the caption, I just got shot. Leaving the rest of us to wonder, is there anything more important left than taking a selfie, such as 911? <laughs> His selfie game is so strong, it is literally bulletproof. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Audrey Lewis, round of applause. <laughs> Forbes, round of applause. All right, that's round one. Round two is on Audrey. Pop culture has us looking at Bruce Jenner's transformation. He was once a male Olympic winner. He is now transforming into a woman. He is going to be part of the Kardashian clan, still leaving Khloe Kardashian to be the ugly one. Twizzler just announced a new competition last week to raise money for autism. In this competition, two people will share Twizzler Lady in the Tramp style. If you thought last summer was bad of watching old high school friends you fell out of touch with dump themselves in ice, this summer your timeline will be filled with autistic kids making out with licorice. It's kind of sad. Um, as long as it's not that nasty black kind. Um, Arthur Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Forms. All right, it's 1-1, one, one. tiebreaker round. Whoever wins this one moves on to the next round on Audrey. Disney was supposed to have the sequel of Finding Nemo, which is called Finding Dory to be this year, but they postponed it to next year because it didn't have the perfect storyline. In other news, a Canadian tourist was killed and two other injured by crashing into a whale. This proving that Disney will do anything for a plot, and this hired whale will be showing it in the film itself. <laughs> a janitor in Vermont passed away last week and left six million dollars for a local public school and library, leaving everyone to wonder, where the fuck did a janitor get six million dollars? <laughs> Somebody is dead somewhere and the janitor's been cleaning it up. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Audrey Lewis. Four. All right, four to the next round. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. I'm going to walk over here to my bracket, which has been ruined already. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Forbes. Uh, the next competition is one I'm very interested in. Uh, one competitor is a young lady who came here a couple weeks ago and did a very awesome job. She's very hilarious. The other person is the assistant director of Stand Up vs. the World. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ben Kaufman and Emily Kirbyan. <laughs> Wonderful. 
sportsmanship. All right, uh, number between one and ten. Seven. Hi. <laughs> ten. Ten. Uh, the number was actually seven. So, you want to go first, or would you like to let? Sure. Some jokes that had similar setups. Do we give a shit? Do we not give a shit? Um. Okay, fans. We have a just a moment. We have a quick question. Because everyone watches the news, sometimes people write similar jokes. They have the same setups, but not the same punchlines, I'm assuming, right? Are we okay with that? Yeah. We're okay with that? All right. So you go first or she goes first? Uh, I'll go first. Ben going first? It's on Ben. Isaac Martinez, one of the victims of an early morning shooting spree this Wednesday, sent a Snapchat out with the caption, I've been shot, showcasing his gunshot wound giving a completely new meaning to the phrase, screenshot. <laughs> the Center for Aquatic Wildlife reports that annually, seven people are raped by a dolphin every year. In the dolphin's defense, she was asking for it. You should have seen what she was wearing. Who wears a swimsuit to the beach? Also in the dolphin's defense, well, she was wet. <laughs> that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. I don't know if I should be excited or calm. Uh, <laughs> Big Kaufman, ladies and gentlemen. Emily Kearney, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's one point for Emily. It's on Ben. So, um, uh, it's been reported in North Korea recently that they've had to start do they've uh, they've had to start distributing special certificates to people who have recently had uh, facial reconstructive surgery or plastic surgery because the plastic surgeons in Korea do such a good job that the people are literally unrecognizable from the way that they came in. So they have to have new certificates to still prove that who they are. I just don't think any other country has the heart to tell them. They all kind of look. Really <laughs> Pretty similar to the end. In the news recently, Justin Bieber did something stupid, and we all should be outraged because we can't pay attention to anything significant. The Bureau for Conspiracies reported that's why we imported Justin Bieber from Canada. <laughs> I believe it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Kaufman. Emily Curtian. All right, that's one for Ben. This is the tiebreaker round that seems to happen a lot here tonight. On Ben. So, a Philadelphia man was recently accidentally invited to a bachelor party uh, because he was sent the Evite. Uh, accidentally because his email looked similar to somebody else's email and then through like an odd string of reply emails he then got actually invited to the bachelor party which is kind of cool but the best man was so excited he ran up to the groom like bro that human sacrifice that you wanted it's gonna be way easier than we thought it was <laughs> dating app Tinder, once free, now is charging for full services. So now, for $9.99 a month, you can get hit on by random strangers. Alternately, you could step into a frat boy's house wearing literally anything. Or nothing. They're both equally degrading, but now one will help put you in debt with, along with your student loans. <laughs> I ain't paying for Tinder, fuck that. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a moment. But like, I ain't paying to swipe so girls don't pay attention to me. Like, oh my God, you're such a free spirit. 420 friendly. No, you're not. You just want people to pay attention. I was drunk in Vegas and was swiping right like everybody. And I was like, you are out of legs. And I was like, horse shit, Tinder. <laughs> and now you have to pay for it. Big coffin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Emily Curdy, and ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Kaufman moves on to the next round. Let's give them a round of applause. Emily, you did a great job. Thank you for coming. Handshake sportsmanship, because that's what we do, Ben. All right, 
So, with that being said, is Justin Steckman here? No. No? All right then, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with that being said, because Justin Steckman is not here, his opponent, Brent Havel, will be moving on to the next round. Where's Brent? Where's Brent? Come up and be seen. Like, come up and be seen, because... Yeah, Brent! Uh, Joe, 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 this is what, this is what every stand-up comedian hates. Tell jokes. What is kind of joke? You want a news joke? Yeah. Well, I don't, I didn't memorize them because I'm bad. Okay. Um, can I grab my phone? Also, I, I was wearing makeup to look like I was dead, so I promise I have not been crying. <laughs> Where's my woo? Woo! This is bad. Okay. Um, a new Alabama abortion law will now allow judges to appoint lawyers for fetuses. This is a real thing. Uh, this new law will appoint or will automatically give more rights to unborn children than Black people in the state of Alabama. <laughs> I was just mad because she spit you that truth. Um, I've been through Alabama. I've never been to it, and that's probably true. I wonder if it was a black fetus, though. Anyway, we're going to keep going.